What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate on Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the action which is post a reply to a message. This action allows you to get a message and then post a reply to that message so it ends up in, uh, in the thread of that message and not as a whole new conversation thread. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in Power Automate, I have my manual trigger flow here, and I can click on new step. I can go to Microsoft Teams and scroll down until I get to post a reply to a message V2. So if I click on this one, I'm asked for four required parameters. I'm asked for the team, I'm asked for the channel, I'm asked for the message or the message ID, and I'm also asked for a reply. Now, before I fill these in, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, actually post a message as as, a, as another action inside of here. So if I go back and add a step and add a Microsoft Teams action, you can see the post a message v3, which is the video that we covered last time. And in here we can specify a team, so we'll use the MCJ demo team. We'll specify the channel, we have one general channel, and we'll specify a message. Um, hey, um, does anyone want a brew? Um, for the Americans who watch this video or people from around the world, a brew is a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Um, just in case it doesn't translate very well. And then we can go back to our post a reply v2. We can select the team. So in this instance, we'll choose the MTG demo team again. We'll choose the channel, which will generally be the general channel. And then the message ID we'll actually get from that first step, that post a message v3. Now you don't need to use this, you could use the get messages step, you could um, use one of the triggers, but this is the way I'm choosing to get this. This is just to show you how this action works, your um, you know, your scenario and, and what you're using this for will probably differ. Um, so we put that in and then the last thing asked for is our reply. So we can say, uh, yes, please, uh, yes, please, milk uh, coffee milk no sugar and again we have all the same tools that we have in um, in power Auto, in like Microsoft teams so we can make these things bold you know just so that they see this better we can make the text a bit bigger so we could say we want it to be 16 because I really want that brew uh, I'm not being left out of this brew around. So we can do this, we can change the font, we can add lists in, so we can do all these different things. This is the color, this is the color picker, so we can change the color, we can highlight stuff, so we have loads of different options. We also have the show advanced options that allows us to put subjects into here. I don't think it's particularly useful for a, a reply, but you have that option anyway. So once we've done this, we can test this out. So we'll click on test, I'll perform the trigger action, we'll save and test, We'll run the flow, click done, the flow is running, we got green ticks down here, we should see a green bar here in a second, green bar there. If we switch over to my Microsoft Teams, I'm in Teams in the browser, and we can say, hey, does anyone want brew? And then we say, yes, please, coffee, milk, no sugar. So there we go, that is the message that I've posted, and this is the reply to that message. It's not a new conversation, it's contained within this thread. So it's a really useful way to use this. So if we go out to Power Automate here, we can see we've got the inputs, uh, and we've got the outputs, which is all that, which is not really useful. Um, but yeah, so we can see what, what it is we did and what we put in here with the reply. Um, so yeah, really cool thing. So this could be useful if you, um, if you maybe want to reply to certain people or do certain things. Um, as always, I want to know what you guys use this for, so let me know in the comments down below um, what you use this for, how you use it, what sort of business scenarios you have, because I'm all about learning and figuring out some of these things. So let me know. If you found the video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, and that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.